it's Lee Anderton here from Anderton's Music Company in Guildford and it's a special day for me because I'm here at uh, Marshall with the amazing Joe Bonamassa and he's agreed to come in and check out this crazy guitar amplifier that uh, at the beginning of the year uh, I asked Marshall to try and help me build. Mm -hmm. I bought a Les Paul along for, for Joe to, to use but he bought a better one. Uh, well, we brought a slightly <laughs> used one. Tell them about that. Well, this is Bernie Marsden's guitar. <laughs> this is uh, this is the beast. He he's nice enough to loan me the original that he's had since 1974 um, for my tours. So I'm gonna. This is be, this will be the last the the last I'll see of it let for me, a let while. Me just touch it. It's, it's... So Anderton's was uh, my father and my grandfather opened a little music store in 1964 in a town called Guildford, which is where we still are today. Jim Marshall, as you guys will know, kind of came along and changed everything, giving guys like Hendrix these new kind of crazy amplifiers that they could play with, turn up, get this thing called distortion. Marshall was the first brand that we ever stocked in the, you know, back in the early days. And I wanted to try and build an amplifier that was a kind of homage back to um, a, a very a, a design that only stayed in the Marshall catalog for literally months back in sort of 64. So I'm going to take the cloth off now. We'll do the big reveal. I'll try not to move the microphone. Sounds good. So it's so it's both it's channels. It's one watt, up. right? It's one watt. So we took the we took the JTM one watt design from their fiftieth anniversary, which I was always my favourite one of all the ones from their fiftieth anniversary. Um, dimed channel one and channel two together, which uh, which wasn't done on on the JTM. Uh, got the guys at Marshall, um, the guys in the Marshall custom shop, sort of revoiced it again, just tried to tweak it a little bit more, um, and we got this killer sounding. This killer sounding amp. So the low is the low is now a six dB uh, attenuation on on the sound. So it'll it'll clean up. Okay. Um, So we came up to Marshall and looked at their museum, the one you've just seen, amazing array of old Marshall lamps, except none of these. So we're going, we had these two crappy pictures off of Google of amps that we were going, we think that's what it wants well, to look Clapton like. Clapton had one of these. He had, yeah. he had one that had no covering. That wow. he, it was like, it was, I, I think he sold it in one of the auctions a couple of years ago, but it, but it was, by the time 50 years had gone by, it was it was down to the bare wood, hand stained, but it was clearly you could see these knobs and the white and the white plexi. I had a guy that I used to play football with when I was in my twenties, and I knew he was into kind of old martial amps. I phoned him up. Turns out he still lives very local to where I live. He runs a company called Ampaholics. I said I'm trying. To, I explained the project we were doing, and and he said uh, I've got two of these in my lockup. Just come round. So I went down with Danny and Mark from Marshall, and he came out of. You know, he collects all these beautiful old amplifiers and he brought these two amps out and we've got some photographs of, of us with them. And he, you know, he literally took us through kind of, do you know what, you, this is the kind of vinyl that was used. It's very different to the vinyl that's used now. This was the types of knobs that was used. And we, we made all these notes and between him and the guys from the Marshall Custom Shop, we got all this like, it's, a, it's the authentic handle from this era. It's the authentic vinyl. It's the authentic kind of, white plexi front. The best thing, and this was the most amazing thing, was we'd originally spec this to just use a Celestium Vintage 30. And he did say, that's really the wrong speaker. 
Yeah, so we have the T6 whatever, I forget the, but it's the one that was used in the, most recently in the hand-wired 1962 LE that, that Marsh did. And it's the one that was in the blues breaker that Clapton would have used during the Beano album. And he said, you've got to use that speaker. So we came back here, loaded a 112 up with a El Nico and a 112 with a vintage 30. And it's like, it's like not just two different amplifiers, but just it's kind of like one was, one was good and one was just blistering. Yeah, one is, the, the El Nico is really specific to that era. You, yeah. you associate that tone to the El Nico. From what I understand, in, in 1964, again, this type of design would probably have only been made for just a few months before they went on to, as you see, like the offset logo or the, or the more, you know, some of the stuff. But the, the only thing on this amplifier, which is poetic license, is the gold piping. Because the, the two that we saw that my friend had, had no piping on and, and actually didn't look as nice as the, as you know, we like, we all agreed that when Marshall went across to using the gold piping, it visually improved the amps. So we thought that'll be our one little poetic license. We'll I think, I think the, the traditionalists will, will forgive you for that. <laughs> so, because we put a lot of other hard work into it, but that's, that's the amp. It's going to be for sale only through Anderton's and we're only making 200 of these. So it's just to celebrate our 50th anniversary in 2014. So what you're saying is they're already sold out. Because you, nope. you, just, you, just, you just took off, off, the, off the, the reveal, they'll, they'll sell before the doors open on I, the first day. I mean, you know, that would be great, but I don't know. It was just a, what started off as a, what can I do to celebrate the 50th anniversary of Anderton's? has ended up kind of being kind of the coolest Marshall amp that I've seen in years, although I'm probably biased. And, the, and then when Paul Marshall said, um, I said, Paul said, what do you want to do to try and launch this? And I said, well, look. You guys are super connected. You know, you have loads of cool guys coming through here. You know, if you could do anything, that would be amazing. And then he phoned me a month later and he said, Joe's coming over. I'm sure he'll do it. And I'm like, on the floor, just going like, <laughs> I couldn't have asked for a better um, like guy to come and do this. So I'm super choked, you know. Well, I'm, I'm happy over. to do it for you. And congratulations on 50 years. It's very tough to keep, uh, my, I'm a son of a guitar dealer myself. Oh, cool. And, um, you know, he's a small mom and pop shop. No pun intended, but um, it's one of the hardest things to do right now is, is keep a retail outlet going and healthy for yeah. for one year, let alone 50. So, you know, I bought a guitar from you guys. Do you guys re realize no, that? No, now you're making it up now. No, I do some, mutual love going No, I, I played, I bought a, I still have a guitar. I have a 58 custom shop strap that was like a 1997. I made it with Why? really flamey necks and you had it in second hand. I still have it. I, still have the, I actually, I know this because I still have the receipt and I just went through all my stuff. <laughs> You, you guys actually gave me a decent deal, so you, you well, didn't kill me, so, which was good. I'm, I tell you, I'm, I'm genuinely staggered, but, um, well, look, do you want to just tear this up a bit and... and All right, well, and, you know. Don't get kicked out of your apartment either, yeah. <laughs> plaques yet but there's a tiny little plaque on the back that just has the Anderton's or will have the Anderton's oh, really 50th cool. anniversary. Anderton's 50th anniversary presented to Joe Bonamassa in appreciation for his participation <laughs> in this event. How fantastically <laughs> nice of Honestly, you to do that. I like it, awesome. I love it. Congratulations dude. This is really great. I know. 50 and years. Congratulations to, to, to another 50. Yeah you. absolutely. Well thank you Cheers. so much for coming along. Appreciate it. And thank Bernie Martin. Bringing for that cheap us. guitar with you. Yeah. That's fine. Just a, yeah, just a loner. Something used. <laughs>